China just made a big move by launching an investigation into subsidies on European dairy products. This happened right after the EU decided to slap tariffs on Chinese electric cars. Let's dive into what's happening, why it's important and how it could affect everyone. Let's take a step back. The relationship between China and the EU has been pretty up and down lately. Not long ago, the EU decided to put some heavy tariffs on Chinese-made electric vehicles, saying these cars were benefiting from unfair subsidies. We are talking about tariffs as high as 48%, which is huge and could really mess with Chinese car makers trying to break into the European market. So how did we get here? Well, after the EU made its move, China didn't just sit around. They hit back with their own actions. At first, people thought China would target European car companies, especially the big German ones. But instead, they focused on agricultural products. First, it was brandy and pork, and now dairy is in the spotlight. So, what's the deal with this anti-subsidy investigation? On August 21st, the Chinese Commerce Ministry announced they'd be taking a closer look at various dairy products coming from the EU. This includes everything from cheese to cream, especially items with more than 10% fat. The countries being scrutinized include Austria, Belgium, Croatia, Czech Republic, Finland, Italy, Ireland, and Romania. This whole thing started because the Dairy Association of China and the China Dairy Industry Association complained that EU subsidies are giving their dairy products an unfair edge in the Chinese market. And here's the kicker. Last year, Ireland alone sent about $461 million worth of dairy to China. In 2023, the EU exported around 1.7 billion euros worth of dairy goods to China. That's a ton of cheese on the line. So what does this mean for the economy? The dairy industry is really important to the EU, not just for the money it brings in, but also because of its political weight. Farmers have a strong voice in European politics, as we saw with the protests earlier this year. By going after agriculture, China is drawing farmers into the conflict, making it tougher for EU leaders to overlook the impact of their tariff decisions. Here's where it gets really interesting. By focusing on agriculture, China can strike back without touching critical sectors like tech and manufacturing. Remember when China targeted Australian wine a couple of years ago? That move really shook up Aussie winemakers. Now, with dairy, China is protecting its own interests while sending a strong message to the EU. This strategy fits into a larger plan of how China is managing its economy. Since the Chinese economy depends a lot on exports, any rise in trade tensions could have big consequences. By concentrating on agricultural exports, China is trying to minimize the impact of the EU's tariffs while keeping its key industries safe. On the other hand, the EU's decision to slap tariffs on Chinese EVs was all about protecting its own car industry. Even though they made a few minor adjustments to the plan, many Chinese manufacturers are still facing heavy tariffs. For instance, BYD, China's biggest EV maker, is now looking at a 177% tariff, while SAIC Motors vehicles could get hit with up to 36.3%. Tesla, which exports from China, managed to negotiate their tariff down to 9% after some back and forth. It's a tough situation for everyone involved. So, how's the EU handling all this? they're definitely standing their ground. The European Commission has made it clear that they're focused on protecting their industries and they're saying that their investigations and tariffs are fully in line with World Trade Organization rules. They're not backing down easily. But here's the catch. The EU's latest draft on EV tariffs did include some changes, which shows they're at least open to hearing some concerns. However, China's not convinced. A spokesperson from their Ministry of Commerce slammed the EU's findings, calling them biased and predetermined. It's obvious both sides are digging in and things are likely to get even more complicated. The Chinese government is pretty upset about the EU's tariff decisions, arguing that they don't take China's position into account. 
China has submitted a lot of documentation to defend their practices, stressing that these submissions challenge the EU's claims of unfair competition. They're also warning about the bigger impact of the EU's tariffs on the global automotive supply chain. China says these measures could end up hurting both regions. After all, the automotive industry is vital for both the EU and China, especially as they both move towards electric vehicles. The impact of this anti-subsidy investigation goes beyond just China and the EU. Since both regions are major players in the global car market, any escalation could mess up supply chains and affect prices. For example, the market share of battery electric vehicles in the EU dropped from 14.5% in 2023 to 12% in the first four months of 2024. Higher tariffs on Chinese EVs could delay the arrival of affordable electric cars in Europe, slowing down the EU's progress. This situation shows how tricky it is to balance protecting local industries while keeping a competitive global market. If both sides aren't careful, they might end up hurting themselves in the long run. China's investigation into EU dairy products is causing some serious trade tensions. As both sides work things out, China is clearly sending a message while trying to safeguard its economy. The EU needs to be cautious not to make things worse. Hopefully they can talk it over and find a way to smooth out their trade relationship. What do you think? Will China's latest move create even more trade issues or could it push the EU to rethink their strategy? Share your thoughts in the comments and that's it for today. Stay tuned for more and we'll see you in the next one.